it is allowed to start. Yeah. So my name is Paul Ismasloni. Uh, yeah, it's enough. <laughs> and um, I like to speak about the archive. I should to speak about, but I will say some things before. I was not interested to make an archive. <laughs> I hate it. But something in the world going on, and I was really, really uh, curiosity about the things which come in. I was, and um, the way of this, uh, which gave me the line to go in my or to start my life was with this kind of phenomena. Looks like this animal <laughs> found a leaf and was interested in this leaf. And um, this wonderful child found eyes on a, on, a, on a water, small water puddle, and hold it, and the light breaks in these eyes. And when you look to the face, looks like me when I was young. <laughs> This was my bad my feeling in this style. And this, it gave me a way uh, how I have to go in the future. This curiosity is of, I like very much. <laughs> It's um, a beginning, <laughs> a small beginning of anything. So. Oh my goodness. And then in the years, no, it is we had, we had, sorry, we have to go to the next. So the next question was. What are doing with these elements, with these situations, these um, phenomena of objects, things, so on? How, what's going on with the uh, perception? And in this moment, also the feeling. How I have to do some things. And this doing was uh, when I was young more interesting in the curiosity and so on than in the way of education. So I got a lot of problems with the adults about the education. I don't want it in this way. And brain and I perception what I'm doing there anyway. It's the fundamental to ugly, but the personal question, the doing, yeah. And I found out one thing that's very interesting. The I, why it is so? The I. And then I started to make a search about the eye. And I found out the function of the eye had some things in the quantum physics. You can find it, the definition of a lens, gravitation lens. So what is coming from the out, coming in the eye, and then have a transformation in a kind of lens, and projects inside 
what you need the uh, apperception. And this was, I was fascinated about ice. When I start to make drawings and paintings about ice, and until fascination, but I don't understand what an eye is really. That is, um, but yeah, <laughs> it was a way. And then coming how to collect collecting. And I start to have different kind of collecting. In the world, when, you, when I look to all the things going on, uh, to see the objects, and I see how people sitting, how the people have the hand, and so on. And I see this, you, you, you are right finger, and you, you put it away, pity. <laughs> <laughs> And then I start to make a collection about fingers. And in this way of collecting phenomenes of the world uh, brought me to different kinds of collections. And in the beginning, this collection was also in, um, separated. And I don't know how it have related together, but my research in all these phenomena of uh, how these things come together was not so good in this early time, but I started to collect. And in the collecting, it is a separate way here, separate way, and uh, uh, separated uh, images, separated with objects, uh, situation, how people doing some things, uh, and so on. And then coming um, the first step <clears throat> so one of another collection was uh, terms and all these terms you see here but I have in German uh, but it 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 was I started to, to find for each term um, a small or bigger collection and uh, to have the possibilities to understand the relation, the difference, and so on. And then, after maybe 20, 25 years, I had maybe thousand terms where I had an uh, interesting in the search of some things else. <clears throat> and this is um, so. This is Kabbalah, the fight, cannibalism, and catastrophe, Qatar, Kenotime, keywords, and so on. It is. It was so interesting to um, to make research. What is this term? What it means? And what is it in the meaning? The different to this, to this, and so on. And, And it start a little bit um, what you're doing with the collection. You have it in some boxes, you have it in some order, so on. And from all the collection I had in the years before, till, till I will say 1981, uh, it was separated. In 1981, I made um, a meeting, a meeting between 40 artists to come together. I call this the council, and this council, um, I had one question, one of the famous questions in the council to the 40 artists 
to stay together 30 days, 24 hours each day and have a kind of yeah, fine fighting about the question, what have you in the head and how is you doing? Why doing and, and, and the idea in the brain is different. So many times I see, when I speak with the people, mostly night when we drink wine, they have so full, full of extremely wonderful ideas or thoughts. And then I look to the art. In this meeting, after 30 days, we had a one uh, question about documentation and we said no documentation in this way, not a catalog, not a book. So we have this material, looks like this material, to bring it in a bigger box, we called it the black kit, and took it from meeting to meeting. But I started in the 78 till now, each year I organize meeting between people. But we come in later to this. And then we said, okay, we made a box, and this box is moving, coming more bigger and bigger, and we took it from meeting to meeting. So we have the information about the meeting before, and then we put the new information from this last meeting to put it in this box. And this was 1981, and now this box looks like this, Schwarze Lade. So this is um, hmm. the archive. <laughs> and that is the archive not with the other collection. The other collection I had in my studio, and for this archive I need to rent places and so on. So, this kind of uh, archive had some <laughs> special qualities. And one quality, so you see the count, place of how it looks now. So, one of the special phenomena of this archive, it was more based on how to do. And I say it how to do, but performance was, a lot of performance was inside, and this is, a, it was later I called it performance art archive. But for me, it's how the people doing. You can call it performance or different ways. But these different ways, uh, I uh, make a research too, coming later. But how? And this, and this performance archive, or that is how to do archive, brought the other uh, collection together. That's coming in the years going on. This was the collection anthropognostical dishes and how you how you work with thought how you work with um, information with phenomenes uh, with philosophical phenomenes with spiritual phenomenes and how you do it and if you can show this and this was uh, this archive was coming later to all together to the big archive. And for example, one part of this anthropognostic dishes is how people doing. No? It's how to carry, how you carry uh, as a person. So I collect 
images, I found it in newspaper, I found it in books and so on. I ask uh, a lot of artists all times, do you have some images where you carry some things? Can you send me this for the archive? And I got a lot of the, the so it's, it's growing up this special few. But the carry was one, for me, a famous uh, verb, uh, the ver verbum. How to carry, what people doing when she carries something else, objects, other humans, animals, and so on. So and this was some images I had still in rituals. How do you? So, And one of the, the third um, was this. After years to, to uh, collect this um, uh, photos, the documentation about them. And this was a scene not carrying, some lying, sitting, standing, walking, jumping, f flying, falling. And it was an exhibition in one, I think it was 2015, a show. Uh, this is what people do and how. For example, lying, sleeping, or something. But this, this. This was going on. And then I made this. It was a very good exhibition. And at the end, it was only a wonderful image. All image I gave one image. And this image was how women doing something else, something, something, not something else. So at this moment, this collection, or the collection coming also together in the performance art archive, or coming out of this. Oh yeah, yeah. I start with this. This is a diagram. Um, as a I. So it's also to, to understand the many things coming back. So for example, so the diagram looks like an I with all this. Uh, was one of these, I'll show you other one. But it is about verbs. It's a relation between, um, for example, when you have the verb walking, but somebody walk, somebody walk slow, or the others go running. The, and so in this moment, we start to have from one special term subterms to different ways how people move in a standing way but this movement of this and this was a collection um, in terms and i had uh, i met 1996 and one a man but Yes, this is a, it's a special story before, but I will, I have to do it. Maybe it's uh, index theory, but it is. This is about performance art and performing arts. In the around 1996, some years before, we were, um, when the archive coming more and more as a researching uh, structure, it's a 
is this possible to make now research to the question how an archive can generate knowledge. In this moment was my first question to the people. When somebody comes to me and says, I make performance. I said, okay, what do you mean? Uh, what do you think? What is your idea or your thoughts to define performance? And mostly the people tell me stories about a grandmother, and my mother was not so nice, or the, my father was drinker, or something else, and they all know I have to make performance. <laughs> so I started that, okay, the term performance exists. The, the basement of the begriff of the term was in Roman times, 500 before Chris, people called the word perform, or mean to bring it in a good form. And then the, this term has a, you called it the history of a term, going years by years from the Roman to the French, from the French to the England, to England, and from England not till now in German, of the Europe in the science sixties last year, last gentleman. But then I, I went to the archive and looked look to the material. And then I found subterms, how to define performance in subterms. And this means in this way. Diversion, performance, performing the art, Aboriginal performance, action, action object, action painting, and so on. And all these terms gave me the, the basement to make the eye of uh, the context of performance art. In the eye, in the eye you can um, In the eye, you can see uh, the definition for them. The inner definition is how people look to a performance. But when I'm uh, I'm worker or, or, or I'm a football player and uh, I see a performance, I'm I have my, my basic means is a, to make sport and always uh, performance as uh, to be a good footballer. And so on. And when you have a psychologic person, he look of the psychologic uh, basement of a performance. He see. So this kind of view. Uh, we want to make other uh, to make a research about this. I found a, a person in the internet in the 1996 when the internet was very young. I found in the internet a person, he was um, a system theorist and diagrammatic uh, worker. He was working in an electricity factory, but he was interested in art. And he started very early also to go in the internet and give information about context in art. Then I found it and uh, got in contact. I invited him to Cologne, but he lives in Linz also. And I invited him, please come. I need your help. Then I show him the terms and the archive and said, I need the help to make this in the context. And this context is usable for any person to have a basic interest in performance art. And then after six years we had this diagram and now I can say worldwide people use it in English and uh, German and sometimes translated a little bit in, in Portuguese but this was very special. But it was now many universities have this to make the first step in to understand performance have uh, 
exist in the best form when you have subterms at the same time. When you say Aboriginal performance, you know it is a way of ritual and the, and the ritual of um, really uh, of people to be not so much contacted with Western art and so on. So in this moment was the first help to make a context about this. Yeah, it's just to make this <laughs> later. <laughs> but it was um, the first time the archive generate knowledge. And this was my interest in the next years, how we can make more and more knowledge coming out from the archive and to, uh, to bring information and uh, documentation together and yeah, and how it looks. This is also I coming from the eyes. I like to see, my, to see how it looks, what is going on with this. Yeah. Okay. Context. In, uh, we had this English. At the same time, uh, not on the same, a little bit later, um, my friend Gerhard Biermoser, he def defines a contextualization in the theogram, diagram performance, diagram verbs, the context performance, the views. And the fuse is very, very interesting, the fuse. But this is cultural, cultural, contextual, what it means, we shall, and so on. And then you have, when you look to this, what it <coughs> section looks like a, a cake. And this is, the, have this and this subversion, psycho, psychoanalytic type, identity uh, view. Emotional view, feministic view, ethical view, <coughs> intense view, and so on. So he, so to help to have this diagram and to help the view and to understand ah, performance at work and big uh, uh, theory of images and so on. So this is also coming out uh, from all this research about this. After, I think it was one year later, after when the diagram was ready, uh, I made the first installation of a diagram. So how do you, oh, excuse me, uh, don't have it only as a paper, so then what it means to, uh, to bring it in three dimension. And then was a, this was the first, uh, yeah, the first uh, to, to, to try it, to, to make a three dimension, a diagram. And this was 2001, <coughs> I think, in Strasbourg. And to, and what is very important is that to see you have in the in the middle of the paper line it is a, a, a timeline. So starting 1981, 1982, 83, and so on. But then, which elements coming in this time uh, was a very important small collection or some element of research. They put it in the vertical line, and so it is going around. It was the first time to make this, and this coming more and more. Um, so, in the same in the same time, um, as not the same time, it was two thousand twelve. <coughs> two thousand twelve was a question. How you make uh, also diagrams um, as a three dimension? 
in a space and as a workshop. So people from the Belfast University working with me in, to, um, to put paper on the wall and then they to, uh, to put images and to do make drawing and so on. And on the window, but the room was a kind of a shop. And the outside window, the big window, we put the diagram as a transparent to put it on the glass window. So it was very interesting for the people to look from outside. You see the diagram, but you see in the same time how people working inside. This was, uh, uh, this was very good. The right side is um, Alison McLennan, and the left side, Shinnett O'Donnell. She organized and invited me to make these workshops there. And this was. Um, the diagram, five to eight meters on the floor, and also then on the wall uh, about the different kind of terms I uh, selected from the 1,000 I have uh, terms and to show uh, the, how is the relation between the images. And how, and uh, to find out how it works, how it works to, to, to make concentrated points and then the open points and how to move to the next field. Yes, it's, it needs this diagram, needs uh, four months, four or five months to create it. It's, And it's uh, included some other elements, but this is outside, uh, <laughs> not in this image. <coughs> yeah. It's more, it's also some objects, some sculptures, some situation, but to, to have this wonderful sculpture, it is was a situation. It's, uh, people put the glass there and then. The light gives this wonderful founded situation. But uh, to this arting and exhibition, we come a little bit later. But it was also in this, um, it was three big rooms and two or three small rooms. And so it was in one room was about the painting and the other was about uh, uh, objects and things. And so that the, Coming later. But this was also a, a diagrammatic uh, also example for a di diagrammatic uh, exhibition. That was a diagrammatic um, exhibition about body. What people doing with hair? Was with hair, with the nose, with the eyes, mouth, hands, finger, and so. I had a collection about what people doing with body, and I invited maybe. 500 artists, uh, invite them, please send me, do we have something to, about real, what you're doing with the body. Then I got a lot of uh, photos and some relics from performances. And so I made um, this kind of exhibition in Linz, Austria. And 
about blood and wound and situation. Yes, it's all done a little bit. Uh, examples. But this was, a, uh, this was 2013. It was really interesting to see what, what people could select it by themselves to send. And then to bring it together with uh, images, with the documents I found in newspaper, in, in books and so on, and bring this together. It was a very interesting phenomenon. Uh -huh. What I have a double. Oh, yeah. This maybe believe. Now coming. For my opinion, it exists a difference between objects and things. Objects have a perspective phenomenon. And are not in a real free inner movement. But things have, um, have, it is not space, it's more than space. And how you bring this kind of things together. I started a kind of um, collection to bring to, to, underst to understand what, what is a thing, what is German the word thing is more into, yeah. yeah and then um, I developed this collection. In my studio. Six is in my studio. And 35 years I work on this. Um, situation. And it is was also for me in the definition of performance. I could be work on this how to move the elements and I called it performance. <laughs> it was a very special kind of performance for me, very deep. After one hour when I move away, I had the feeling I have to start again. Why I called it as a paradise? It's, it's, it is so a wonderful word for me. It's, it's, There's a lot of glass and mirrors in it. Yes, but to make to make it transparent, to, so also I put things under the glass, and so, so it is the situation was moved in many. When I stay here, I can look maybe till this glass, and when I look a little bit more, I can look under this glass to another uh, object. Not yet, not on this, but in the, when I say for this, and, and when you have this glass, then you see the town, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it is um, it's the feeling of going up and going down. And, uh, and then the break, the break of light, uh, how light has a, so a special own life when you helps them with mirrors and so on, and uh, lenses and so on.
So would, would these be things or objects? Huh? Would it, are they things or, or objects of the view? Yeah, you can say it's objects. But for me it's uh, things, some things. And things that for me have, have maybe a soul. Yeah, that is um, speaking with me. And I think that I don't work. Really, Some, I, sometimes I call it a, an art conversation. Let me please put me here. <laughs> Maybe I feel it in the, in the, in the, in the, in the one I do it. No? The, and as in this moment, I do nothing, but I, the things move me. So, so, <laughs> yes, it's. Um, It's a paradise. <laughs> so what? Sometimes when I have the chance to get the place and to the possi possibilities so to also I have one month's time to each day in the morning to the evening I could make a kind of mandala basement. And then on the bundle, bundle, going up in the middle higher, and the, the end was only table level. This was, um, I had the possibilities to make it very large. But you rearrange it within your studio. Hmm? So you rearrange it? No, 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 it's all the exhibition. But oh, these are exhibitions? Yes, it's exhibition. Okay, okay. And the studio was only the first, but it uh, was small. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But I had it in my studio for 30 years. And uh, after the lat latest, the, the late, latest, latest, the latest uh, yes. exhibition, it was in writing. Uh, where I have the glass to stand here and then the light. After, th after this exhibition of this uh, diagrammatic exhibition included this, I was unable to put it back in my studio. Now it's standing in <laughs> boxes, big boxes. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Where? I have the power to, uh, to, to recreate it, uh, maybe. But I had a lot of exhibitions with this, so people invited me, but not a lot, many, many times I said, no, 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 too much. I needed to, for one month, to make it in this way. And after I have to need uh, 10 days to put all together in the clear boxes, to transport it back. So it is, was not good to, trans, to trans, uh, transmit it to, too often, right? so. But do you also archive these objects in some way? Do you also, since we saw the archive, like from these yeah. uh, words yeah. and uh, photos, are these objects also a part of this archive in like yeah. some boxes? Or? In the end, I want to speak a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. The performance archive helped me to say all this is an organism and I call it this, this organism an archive. And this, this archive is very big and included all the different uh, collections of something else and included all to, to answer it. It is an organism of life as an archive. So this... Um, uh, uh, <laughs> um, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but you know, correct me. But, but uh, it, it feels like it, it's a step uh, away from objects and, and uh, looking more and more at the connections between things. The, the uh, what is it? The, uh, it? Yeah, the connection. Mm, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, what I was thinking about was this uh, concept in, in Japanese of the move, where you're looking at the space between things, the and this is, this is uh, almost like also uh, moving away from things and 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 separating 
them some connection, like I learned on this work how to organize, for example, a meeting with 30 artists and you have the right space between all. I learned it there. To understand, um, when, you, when I invited the conferences, I done a 17 conference and performance art. When I invited the people, uh, it was so many times these. So how to find the space and space? All 30 artists or how, how many I invited feel it in the right situation. I learned it from here. Can I ask you, can the objects? change for each exhibition, or is it always the same object? Um, it's coming no matter, but in the, each uh, presentation is absolutely different. And when here some elements is together, in the next presentation is completely different. Um, but the, the amount of objects, like... Um, okay, uh, the, the, um, the connection between them is different, but are the same things transported to each exhibition? Or? Yeah. Maybe uh, when I made this, I had, it was a half of the material I have. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I started, I have all the boxes with all the material, and many material is so simple, it's only maybe this. But when, you, when it coming in relation, it's, it's coming more than this. And this is uh, the way to, to, to give, to, give to, to say, to give space, is, um, mm -hmm. but it, it means something else in this way. And then I have a long table and put all the material there and then I start to build the basic and then I start Somewhere starts, okay, I'll take this and put it there. And then it's starting how it's coming, what, why I said it needs one month, or, or uh, the other, other way of the head, it was, I think, here. Yeah, this was the first one. Yeah. 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 It was impossible to, to uh, photograph complete, but this. It was so and so, and coming through a door, and have on this side again uh, this. So it was the biggest one I had the possibility. So I had to, yeah, to make this for months. Immer die die gleiche Objekte oder fügst du neue Objekte dazu? Till now, when I see some things, ne, uh, I take it. Yeah. I don't know. It will be. When I rebuild re it, it's still there. But um, it is the so objects speak me where they are. Right. And yeah, it is not new. All times when I see a take, to take or I buy it, or somebody gave me. A, I have a lot of objects, people, it should be there. Yeah. So, but it is really the absolute open movement of the paradise. <laughs> okay. Since I love it. I love it. <laughs> Look, it's completely different. In an exhibition in the church, Museum of German, Germanisches National Museum in Nuremberg, as yeah, okay.
the same thinking what I have with the paradise, I have with this kind of a kind of workshop. I rent a place in a gallery in the summertime. The, the gallery said, oh, I, I make no exhibition this time. I can't rent the, the space. And invited six other artists to say, come on, we have the space. Bring fine material you like, and then we will See what's coming out in one month. And we had a table, and we, we move all times the table. For example, you see how it works, but it looks the same what I've done in, in my paradise. We do it there. And when somebody said, stop. It's finished. We put all away on the side. You can see the other side. We put all this on this table there. Then the table is empty. We start again. It is like we call this uh, the unendliche Gespräch. Never ending conversation. <laughs> okay, yeah. Das unendliche Gespräch. Sometimes we speak, but mostly only that. And then he came also. Uh, Ralph and uh, Berger. And somebody stand behind. <laughs> okay. Uh, he moved his letter. But to, to and in the end, it was so interesting when we make a photo about it was clear we we, we bought this um, uh, fabric for the table and it's nearly the same color of the floor. So we look to the table, but it's the table going in the color to the floor to the end wall. And so all together was a, also a kind of diagrammatic. Um, and we make it 30 days. And the end, we drinking wine. Next day, put all away, no exhibition. Only to be 30 days together and to look how to teach yourself, it's very good. Okay. <laughs> Maria. Yeah. So. And now we've uh, change a little bit the field um, but I told you from the paradise I learned a lot uh, how to organize space or situation where people come to be together for this and how this encounter is now this part of the um, I start with performance and it was a special room. Um, or two or three years I organized um, Art of Encounter. And the interesting point was to bring people from, also invited people from maybe Asia or something else, and then from the town where 
this encounter take place. For example, this is in Cologne. But um, when we organized this, we, f we found the possibilities to work together with people from Bale, from Hanover, from Burg Bohl, uh, Cologne, Essen, uh, and, and Hildesheim. So this was a different kind of uh, organizer, mostly artists, and this was for me more interesting. To, to find out other performance artists to organize something. And that is, uh, for example, then it's a, it's a group performance. Isn't it? We start with Art and Encounter uh, 2005 in Japan. And then it's 2007, 2009, 2011, and this was 2018. It's the last, last one. We got this wonderful, huge place. This was incredible. Where was that? In Cologne? Hmm? Is that in Cologne as well? Is it in Cologne? Wo war die Ausstellung? Ist es auch in Köln? In Köln, in Köln. Und wie uh, it called um, A big, big factory, a cable, cable factory. And this was empty. This factory was broken and so on. And this, in this moment, we go in the camera, we get it. We don't, we don't must pay. So that be okay? You get it uh, dirty, but you have to give it up clean. <laughs> <laughs> But it was okay. And that was uh, the same people in, um, in Book Bowl. So it was, I get a lot of uh, images there. Eh? But this was uh, Art of Encounter. And um, the first. Very important point, well, I say it's important, but maybe not. not, not important. Uh, Black Market International. In the Council, 1981, <clears throat> we had a group of people, they called um, the Tool Group. They, they went all the time in the, outside of the spaces and to work, to occupy places, to occupy that uh, and to be there some hours to make some things and then they leave. And in one case it was a wonderful development of to work, to make to make some things, to make action or how you got it. But in other cases it was a problem um, the fight between the people. And then I was thinking, it is possible to find people, artists, to be free of this, this shit thing, to make it in a good way. And then I was searching, and 1985, I, I had found six other people, and I said to them, should we start some things that okay, we can try it? I organized a meeting and uh, one, another one organized some things in Switzerland. And we had uh, some small structures. Nobody is a teacher. Nobody is, um, makes scripts. Nobody says how, it, how we have to do it. And nobody, uh, it should be absolutely free of encounter. But it should be in the same time a paradox phenomenon when we say, for example, all is allowed. But when you really know this, you know what is not allowed. 
this is paradox, but it was a very important source in this. And then we started, we called it Black Market International, and this was 19, 1921, the last time in Cologne. And what we liked was six hours, 12 hours, sometimes 24 hours to be together and look what's going on. Very good was uh, sometimes in England, people invite us for one week. We are from the morning 11, it's in the evening 10. And we are there, we are unreasoned. We make some things and good vibration. And then some of, the, some of us started to make a workshop with people I'd organized before and they took this workshop in this doing. Yeah, that's an uh, encounter in the best way. <laughs> Yeah, right now we are as we are coming together in 1985, and you see, he's still alive. But, but not all, so two, two persons two person died, and some of us are uh, not so young anymore. <laughs> but okay. But we have young people. The Sattara Johnson was England there, yeah? and this uh, Elvira Santa Maria from Mexico. So what is the situation change step by step? So you put something there, then you put it away. But th this is a public performance at the same time, right? Yes. Yeah. So people can come in and see and come and go yeah. as they please. Mm -hmm. This was a good situation. The place was, if you put it, very uh, in, in, uh, tight. Yeah. And the, the audience have to sit really near us. And we are, without material, only extreme movement. <laughs> It, is, it doesn't exist any score or uh, we speak before how we do it. No, we start and then we have, we have to hope each gets this movement, feeling it, come, come in and do it. Do you do, you do rehearsal? Hmm? Do you do rehearsal? We don't need it. <laughs> yeah. When we have material, we come in with the material. So maybe we start eight o'clock. Uh, we come with the material and uh, put it here, and then, then we are in. And then, okay, then uh, I move uh, my cap there, or standing and look, uh, and then thing going on, coming, yeah, and it's coming more and more intensity. Do you talk? Hmm? Do you talk? Do you have conversation, or is it like without? Uh... We have no conversation. How we do it? Okay. But sometimes in that we use the voice as an instrument to blah 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 blah. Yeah, it's coming. Uh, the, well, this uh, one woman. Yeah, she she tells she she brings stories about a fish, and she cuts the fish. Uh, the head, and then they put the head in a, in a doll and uh, start with needle and uh, to tell this. No? But uh, sometimes, uh, as if I uh, start to speak other or not, it's 
Yeah, we, we presented you in the Old Fault Miss You Factory Hall in 2015. Yeah. And before you came, I wondered uh, how you could peel the space for such a long time. I mean, it was like enormous space. Um, but then um, what I saw was, like you said, you all brought some material, some initial idea, and then it started, the action started growing out of that uh, starting, all the starting point. And it was a very musical experience because you were, uh, the whole room, the whole space there was kind of vibrating, uh, like every time somebody was making a sound somewhere, it was picked up somewhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I had this feeling that the, the room was actually full. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's need a high attention of all, of the other people, of the space, of the situation, of some sound coming from here. So, then you directly to move the sound in something else. But also, you, you said this about knowing what is not allowed, if you really know it. And I sense that too, because you were, were so uh, uh, moving slowly most of the time, but really listening with, with your whole body to the other and to the space. So it felt like you would immediately pick up if, if there was something happening that didn't feel right somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Black market. <laughs> I have the feeling it is also not uh, not uh, possible. I think to teach this. It is only uh, a try to to find other people to make it different. I show you some of it, but it's not not easy. We will we will die with this principle. We call this the principle. Um, not a group make it, so we have a principle, and this principle we can show by now we are eight artists, now we are six artists, now we are twelve artists. Uh, mostly we had the documenter nine, we was invited, we was 24 artists, so it's a different invite, and a big, big, big fabric, so we had a place to, to be three days together. This is, This is um, life is life only. <laughs> this was um, called passion. It was for me a question in the, around 2008 in Cologne. There exists a lot of performance artists, but no, no scene. Nothing happens. I was a little bit angry about this, and then I start how to bring the people together, and then we start to have um, an open group with 10, and sometimes we were 30. It was very, very open. Now we said, okay, the structure is, looks like a black market, but more open. More, but so much, not, not, um, we, we took people, when you, somebody comes in, you want to part that, please. It's free. And it could be very, a black market, it was all performance artists, it's, you know, some knowledge about performance. But by many of these people working there, they have no knowledge about performance, but they have interesting, ah, I want to be there. And it's not all times going well, but sometimes extremely good. And, but to have these possibilities, to have an open situation, people can come and make, and to look, to learn what they want. This is passion. And the name Perche called, uh, how it calls him? In German, we have a very bad word. You are the usher of the art. 
and all performance artists are the assholes of art. So I said, okay, <laughs> performance, Asche. Yeah. In German, Aschholz is Asch. So, Asche, performance, Asche. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes we. <laughs> and we make Konto in me. Seit, seit uh, 2009, we start with two, three, four times in the year to have a meeting somewhere, also to occupy. The, Open places we go make when police police come or the, 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 then we have to leave. But um, and we like it. There's so many places that are open and so free. We have to use it no? to, to go to make it. Look at this, no? so big, so free. This is also Persia, but in a space. Sometimes you have a good space too. Many, many artists, for example, this woman coming from Switzerland, she came from Belgium, she came from Hanover, he came from Düsseldorf. So it is very open. Somebody says, Oh, when you have the next passion, they said, Then, 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 oh, I will come. It is um, kind of a workshops and situation workshop as performance or performance as workshop or about the term with the diagram and so on. So in this case, um, it's a way to show how to teach. And it's wonderful to see what people are doing when they have some texts under the feet. It's very interesting. <laughs> and that is in the archive, and I, I make sometimes a workshop in the archive. People can come and then have the and it's interesting when I have the diagram and uh, some, some names coming, then I said, okay, I can go in the, and I have here from this artist this information. So I can to show a box with this. Yeah. And this is a one of a wonderful dancer, but she has a a wonderful idea. Uh, I try to move without memory what I had saw, what other people doing in dance or something. I try to be so free to find the movement coming so direct in my body to have no way of my thinking, to have a memory, and then to move, not before. What a wonderful structure to, to think about. Yes, it's a... It 
to show the, how to to teach, to make workshop, uh, to give information. A lot of people come from the world and want to come to see the archive. And then, yeah, okay. So I have two, three, four hours to um, give information and so on. It's, It's, oh yeah, small, small images. Called Rent and Artists. It was a project starting yeah, also early 80s. People can rent me or some other people. Uh, we organized, for example, here it was in Munich. Um, I organized with some friends and from people from the uh, theater school. So what to that, okay, we, we give service. So, then we meet in the town to have a container to make the situation with, with the images from so it was the inside. You can here see images from the men or from the women uh, theater, actrice, actor. And then people can come, and uh, inside we have to find out it is uh, serious or not, to find it out. And when it was serious, our feeling, we make in contact with the actress or the actor, and then they meet, and the actress or the actor give service. But I don't know what this was out of my I have make only. The connection. This was a uh, random artist. Yeah. But I think now we can slowly to one. Yeah. What it means is network. Um, after the, all these years, and to understand what's happened with the different people, with the different situation, with all this. Uh, to, to, to understand, it's a, uh, it's a kind of network. We was to work, to make network, but to understand network, what uh, I have to say by myself, it was not too easy to understand. But you can say in the electronic, the network is clear. And, and then I found a wonderful phenomenon, and this is this one. The mid cell of a, of a mushroom. Um, the mushroom is that the planet is under the earth and have so different networks in the same time. And each network has its own way, but it's all, all times uh, connected to, to a basement, to a special basement. And then we make a network. Sometimes the network is hundreds of uh, meters, or in America we have it uh, 20 hectares. So big, big, big network. But the one network is uh, working with, uh, with um, trees, and other is working with other elements. And the other network is to, to find water and so on. And this kind of different network at the same time as a network for, for what? And I call this, this is a good image for, uh, to say, to be, a, to be an archive. As a human being, as an organism, to be this kind of network for this. 
And so when people ask me what is a network, was it an archive, was it? <laughs> and that is the daily life, the daily life here. And when things going well, all of a sudden, then it's coming, this one. <laughs> a wonderful mushroom. It's six words for today. <laughs> <laughs>